Hey, what's up, guys? I am Matt, and this is My Crazy Podcast, episode 47. Who are you? Monster Claws. Who are you? I'm Dusty B. And I'm Matt for Redundancy's sake. This is a three-person podcast. And uh, how was your guys' week? I mean, Christmas happened. Christmas, Christmas shopping. did happen, man. Christmas shopping. Uh, Not too bad. I'm Not officially too bad. unemployed. Have... Yeah. <laughs> Sne- Welcome. Sneaking Welcome. that in there. <laughs> unemployed club. Anyway, let me get... By the way, let me just get that out of the way. I'm very... I'm feeling very silly today. I'm feeling very goofy. Uh, you know... And if I make unemployed jokes, just keep in mind, and for people who don't know, everyone involved, like, I'm good, there's no bad terms with me and my previous employer. That being said, let the jokes fly. <laughs> Anyways, I am unemployed, <laughs> I am a bum right now, uh, which made Christmas shopping a lot of, very interesting. How was your guys' Christmas with Fan- shopping? Fantastic. Uh, I got everything done pretty quick, except one thing still coming in the fucking mail, no, the postal service. Yo, it's a motherfucker, man. That that government shutdown the other day really fucked shit up for me. Yeah, the government shutdown. Every Bastards. Time, every time there's a government shutdown, like... I don't understand well, how the fucking government could shut down. The politicians the are... The fuck? The politicians... They go, hey, don't come in tomorrow, motherfuckers. We ain't paying you. Yeah. <laughs> the politicians don't approve on a budget, and if you don't approve on a budget, then you can't then technically no checks can be cut so no one can make money mm-hmm. or like no one there's no incentive for anyone to actually go into work like like think about it, you would not go into work if you weren't going to get your paycheck no hell no exactly so it's kind of like the reverse like these government agents aren't going to go in if like no one's paying them which sucks because I mean if we're being I don't know I don't know too I haven't been too in depth with this government shutdown but the previous government shutdowns within recent years have been like forced on by Republicans mostly they've just been st- stagnant about choosing a budget usually around health care and Obamacare which isn't really Obamacare it's the Affordable Care Act that they dubbed Obamacare but it's fine but, so, but what did but yeah I'm waiting on presents in the mail too I'm waiting on presents <laughs> in the mail but everything actually worked good so my um, my significant other yo no I'm not name John behind yeah Hi. what's up here <laughs> corn dog um, what you call it? Uh, we got we ended up getting each other like strip uh each other's NFL shit, and we had no fucking idea. Mm. It was lit. That's pretty lit. I got new Bucks gear. Go Bucks! Even though this year you did not really show up. Fitzpatrick, please get on your shit. We're from New York. Who's a Bucks fan in New York? Me. This guy. <laughs> Pirates dog. Giant. What the lit. fuck, Giants, bro? I mean, I'm for the Jets, but we fucked up I mean, my, everything. My girl's man. a Jets we fan. A I'm very, 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 very huge Jets fan. <laughs> not for nothing, though. No. I, I realize I'm like the only thing that split hairs. They're both stadiums are in fucking New Jersey. The the same stadium where they both reside is in New Jersey. So here's my thing. I'm just a big fan of Eli Manning. I know that's weird to say, but think what you gotta think about it from my perspective. I grew up where during like the heyday of the Mannings. And I've always felt that Eli was underrated compared to his brother Peyton. So, Peyton was an amazing quarterback. No, he was. Eli, but I, Eli, feel like, I feel like Eli. He has more uh, championships. I feel, doesn't uh, he? He has no. more Super Bowl wins under well, under one team. No, I thought Peyton. I think I thought Peyton had two rings. Doesn't Giants I thought he had three? two underneath the Colts? I could be wrong though. No, I, he, no, I he think only... he has one, at least one. Colts maybe it was a lot the orange team he was on I remember that Broncos <laughs> orange <laughs> team <laughs> I know that, didn't the Broncos he lo- yeah no the Broncos game that was wild I remember that was bad that Super Bowl he kept on doing interceptions anyways I don't know much about sports <laughs> <laughs> Matt Weinkoop plug yeah oh yeah make sure you guys check out Take Your Base podcast starring Matt Weinkoop who well I, I'm not gonna put his business out there I don't know if that's the public yet you tag him right yeah, no, no, but I was gonna, I was gonna make. So a- make sure you tag Monster Energy, please sponsor us. Make sure you, make ch- you fucking tag us this time, Matthew. I will, I will. I, I'm I not got it. putting up your fucking. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Anyways, congratulations to Matt Weinkoop <laughs> for reasons he knows, but I don't know if Asshole. they're public. I don't know if they're public, so I don't want to say it for him. But if you're listening, congratulations, fam, on everything. Um, so yeah, my Christmas was pretty. Uh, I mean, yo. So, I didn't realize, like, when you're unemployed trying to do Christmas shopping, it's kind of, it's hard. 
Yeah. Like, been there. Be like, dude, I'm not gonna lie, last minute, there's still some stuff that's in the mail, and honestly, that was my last minute stuff. Um, and, uh, but for like my family, I'm not gonna lie, for the most part, it was like, so the hard part was, I do my, a lot of my Christmas shopping for the rest of my family with my mom, because like, then I don't need to pay for everything in general. But then I help her get everything, and then we could kind of say I helped with stuff. Anyways, but the problem is, obviously, I'm not getting her present. And obviously, I don't want her to pay for everything. So, like, and we didn't wait till the last minute. So, no, we did wait till the last minute. So, we shopped on the 23rd was the last day we were sh- fitting shopping. So, that no, 22nd. So, that means I had the 23rd and the 24th to finish shopping for her, my brother, and my dad, and my uh, brother's fiance. Yeah, I got all my stuff. Well, primarily all my stuff. Like, the weekend before because I like not for nothing like I'm I'm a regular guy I, I have work you know I try to save but you know check to check as a motherfucker you know I went to CVS so, in, in the gift card department dude, I'm not gonna lie. by the way <laughs> I want to say fuck you CVS because listen to this shit you know how much a motherfucking bag with fucking well good if, thing I really went to if you get one of those fucking <laughs> gift bags with fucking tissue paper and shit in it that's pre-made that motherfucker five ninety nine. That sounds about For right. For a paper bag with, with, are you kidding me? Oh, you want a doll? What are you talking about? Like the bags that they for to the, give gifts in. That sounds about right. Like if you went to Toys R Us, R E P, that'd be the same price. No, no, dude, go to the dollar store. Then go to the dollar store, but I'm but just saying. But they didn't are, have any, uh, and I was in a, it was in a pinch. That's what I'm saying. You go to the premium store of CVS. Yeah, CVS <laughs> ain't so premium. Sure, I, I'm sure the C the it's CEO of CBS. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I uh, which, one has, the, which one has the the one of them is whack. The one on <laughs> oh pause. I should I can't say that. <laughs> Whichever one that one is, that one's fire. The one on the other side of town sucks. The one Dick. by the one by where the one by um right where where Ed Hardy's where Ed Hardy's used to be. By Sonic. Oh, I thought you were talking about like across the my street side from- of. <laughs> of there was you know where you know yeah oh, that one also sucks too exactly yeah. exactly there's only like one good pharmacy in like the 10 of them in our in the town which is sucks because our town literally well literally has pretty much that's all the pharmacies that's where Matt gets his anabolic steroids for his buns that's where I get my uh, <laughs> my cheap tube socks cheap tube socks yeah he goes through them a lot yeah I don't use Apparently. condoms yeah he um, socks it before he drops it. But yeah, no, I got a, uh, but I got some cool gifts. I, I, even though I sucked at giving gifts, it's, but that's the best thing about being unemployed. People don't expect much from you. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, so I really tried this year because you know, t- t- I'm unemployed. <laughs> Matt, question: Would you be upset if somebody bought you a pocket pussy for Christmas? <laughs> All right, describe the situation. Describe the scenario in which I open the present. Am I around people? Am I around? Is it just me? <laughs> am I around people? Am I just me and this person? In general, who gave it to me? That that's probably a, a friend, more than likely, or your girlfriend. I don't have. Well, a you don't have a girlfriend, yeah, so probably yeah. a friend, obviously. Yo, the audience just got dumb hype. Like he's got a girlfriend. He's <laughs> Yo, been lying to us this entire time. No, nope. He slept. <laughs> he somehow. still does not have a girlfriend. Um, depends on the situation. Say if I just like pulled out a box that was wrapped. Whatever you, I say, if this is a wrap, I'm like. Here, bro. Merry Christmas. Dusty's here. Cameras rolling. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'd be like for the podcast. Oh, I just laugh. I just laugh it off. It's for the podcast. If you, even if the cameras off, or, I, just, I would just or laugh it off. Or if I was like, Yo, Matt, if we're in in like say I don't know Wendy's or something. That'd be dumb, brazy. That'd be <laughs> wild. No, that's too wild. If you just gave me a pocket pussy in the middle of Wendy's, that's I w- dude. You know how often I go to Wendy's? Would it look be worse if it was outside the box? They know me at Wendy's. They legitimately know me at Wendy's. Like they don't. They like I don't want them seeing me. I'm just gonna start giving you random gifts, and one of those days, one of those gifts is gonna be a gift you don't oh. want to open. Yo, no, we're gonna start a little video word. series, a little quick camera thing. I'm be like, Matt, <laughs> yeah, wrap it <laughs> or something. I don't know, I'm gonna find, I'll make something up with it. No, but if I got, if you got if you gave me a pocket, I just laugh it off, make a joke, and then use it later secretly. But you know, 
Like, nah, these videos are getting done in like public areas. <laughs> We're going to Wendy's. I'm like, here's your present, Maddie. You gotta open it now, bro. Do it. No, not my, not my sanctuary. Oh yeah, that's my place of worship. That's like my church. Oh yeah, you have to sweat it off. It, it might not be a pocket pussy. It well, could you could be a Burger else. King, cause fuck Burger King. It could be a Burger King. We'll it might a not be a Burger King. It could be they don't, a McDonald's. They don't, they don't know me there. The McDonald's are Yo, there. I actually ate. Could their, could be a I Sonics. actually got their one. Could be a their, White Castle when we do that episode for one dollar the other week. Our Ooh. Burger King. You did that uh, Whopper detour? Oh, yeah. That was lit. Yeah. Well, I did that, and then we went back a little, like, the other day for the two for six Whoppers. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Give me the the ten-piece nugget for a oh, dollar. God. I'm sorry. Why? No, it was actually pretty pretty good. You don't trust taste buds. No. 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 Let me tell you. If you could pay, if you, no, you should not be able to they're get that much though. food. I mean, they're tiny. For only a dollar. They're tiny, but they're like skinny. They're like, they're, they're like, like skinny. They're like, they're like the hash brown size almost, but let me, uh, okay. no, a little bit bigger than that. But no, even, yo, you know how bad they are? When we went to, I want, I don't, I don't like them as the chicken nugget connoisseur. Mm-hmm. No, there's one, sore. there's one thing. I know about as far as food goes chicken nuggets chicken fingers and french fries if y'all there's one thing you can always trust me about I know the best ones always so when I say it's bad it should naturally trust me but then <laughs> I went to Burger King my friend I was with two friends and actually people long time viewers of my crazy productions may remember them Matt Rometta and uh Justin I probably shouldn't put his last name but I uh, know it's out there anyway uh but Justin was in the passenger seat Matt was driving I was in the back seat and then we went to Burger King, and we just finished talking at the window, and then Justin's just like, you know, maybe uh, maybe I should get the 10-piece. I'm like, don't get the 10-piece. Don't get the 10-piece. He's like, it's not that bad. I'm like, I, I'm like, no, look at me, Justin. Don't get the 10-piece. They're that bad. He's like, it, and you know, when someone just says that to you, he's like, it's kind of what, it's kind of weird when someone just like <laughs> says, look me in the eyes. Don't get those chicken nuggets. They're that bad. So he's just like, he literally talks to the lady at the window. He's like, yo, my friend's talking, is acting really weird in the back. Should I? He's saying the 10 piece chicken nugget is bad. Should I get them? She's, she, she gets wide eyed just like I was. She pushes the microphone away from her face and she wet mouths. Don't get the chicken nuggets. Don't get them. So yeah, don't get the 10 piece. When the employee. Gives the same look. You've been warned, Jimmy. Don't eat them fucking nuggets, bro. <laughs> Don't get the tempies. Actually, that might explain. <laughs> you put your colon on the line every time you eat that tempies. They're just god That awful. actually explains a lot. <laughs> your colon been crying to you, Jimmy? No, that was uh, that was like two oh. weeks ago. Oh, they're just terrible. I'm not. I'm not even just hyping no, like it up. A week ago. I'm not even just hyping them up. They're they're the worst chicken nuggets I've ever tasted in my life. There's, like, this petting zoo, like, this kind of, like, big petting zoo around this. It's actually closer to here. I don't know. It's, I don't, it's not really even petting zoo. It's, like, kind of, like, half petting Pettings. zoo. Half, uh... Warwick. Half, um, apple farm. During, it's in Warwick, yeah. Yeah. Petting zoo orchard. Oh. Well, they had chicken nuggets there or something like that. I don't even think that's the one, but it's, like, something like that. And they also have, like, kind of, like, taxidermied animals on, on the wall, and they have a gift shop. Like, it's a big place, but it is, like, around that area. I think it technically might be in Jersey, though. So oh, it, might a, it might be a little bit deeper. No, it's like no. That's technically is Warwick still. Oh, all right. Where right. where that where it is? That's like right at the end of like. Well, as a kid, I had their chicken nuggets. I thought those were the worst. No, Burger King, a fucking billion dollar chain, has the worst chicken nuggets. In Burger King's the, only worth a bill. That's uh, no. It's definitely worth more than. But I said a, a company that's worth over a billion. Oh, you know, yeah. Gotcha. It's definitely worth over a few billion. So that's why I'm saying. As far like, as like Forbes and shit goes, they have the money to make better chicken nuggets and chicken tenders. Their new chicken tenders are nothing to write home about. Their breading is too. It's too. Um, Do it's, you have like a, ru- a Yelp review thing going on with this or something? <laughs> no, a little like, critic food corner. No, I, I have my department. crazy podcast where I've been about chicken nuggets. <laughs> Maddie's Nugget Corner. Um. <laughs> I ran about the best chicken, right? Oh, we should get back on track. All the places. I got Nugget an, novelist. I got an NES Classic. And, uh, <laughs> Hudson Valley Chicken Wars, coming to you. <laughs> yeah, no, I got an NES Classic for Christmas, which was pretty baller. That was mm. fun. That was pretty much like the highlight for me, honestly. Cause I, see, my main thing is, and also, if you're listening, analog or uh, retro USB, I want to get like the FPGA uh, NES console so I can actually play my cartridges 
in HD on my flat screen proper, like through an HDMI and all that stuff. Like they have FPGA basically replicates the actual circuitry, and it's it's basically one for one. Like emulation, there's still like some issues somewhat here and there. Every cartridge works the same way it would work on regular Nintendo, which is dope. So yeah, no, I got that so I could play some of my favorites on HD. And uh, yeah, no, it's pretty fun. Anything for New Year's, guys? Um, New Year's is coming up pretty soon. This guy, I think this might come out right before New Year's, but uh, yeah, New Year's, here's... New Year's, I'm going to my my boys, uh, friend's place, and uh, with the go hang out with the with the OC scumbags, my boys, the AMA club. Good people. Um, and, uh, well, then from there, see, here's the tricky part. I'm not going to drink up until I have to leave there. I'm going to come back and then head down to the bar for the rest of the night. Oh, word. I thought you meant, like, right into your... I was like, what type of chicken game are you about to play, Jim? <laughs> I'm not about to drink till right about... Till I'm right about to drive. <laughs> I thought that's literally what you were about to say. I'm just like... He's trying to pull... I was like, yo, that is one ballsy chicken game to admit on a podcast before you do it. <laughs> so what you're saying is you're not trying a pregame. <laughs> no, trying like, to be smart honestly, if I, get if, drunk at the bar. Well, like, that was the thing. It's like, we want to go over there and chill and stuff like that, but, like, we don't want to just, like, I don't know, we don't know how, how everything's going to go. I mean, you're bar right down the road anyway, ain't it? Yeah. yeah so no, yeah, so it works out well. And it's always good, and it's lit too, so. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. What are you. For New Year's? Eh. Yeah. Ain't got much going on. I'll probably just order Chinese food, stuff my face, watch that movies. That sounds lit. Yo, Pizza Hut sounds lit. Get drunk. No, no Pizza Chill. Hut. I mean, I That's got, pretty much what I, I like do. the breadsticks. Yeah, <laughs> that, I know you do. You lived on, you literally lived on, on the same, like, order of Pizza Hut for like the entire trip <laughs> three days it wasn't that long either that three or go out to a party four. <laughs> three out of five five rather yeah no actually it wasn't it was no it was three days it was all the days we were in Daytona it was three days that I left off Pizza Hut yeah but alright so for anyone who doesn't know here's how you it's my bad to interrupt you here's yeah. how you scheme at, at Pizza Hut not even scheme they allow you to do this you get the $10 dinner box and then that comes with cinnamon sticks and breadsticks and a medium pizza so this is what you do. You ask them, hey, take out those cinnamon sticks and get me another order of breadsticks instead. And they'll 100% of the time do it. There's not been one time, even if they don't know about that, they'll usually, they've always done it. Like in Florida, they had no clue what I was talking about. They still did it. I lived off that for literally like the entire, like half the trip. It was worth it. Because you get like 20, bre- you no, it's like 10 breadsticks and a medium pie. Oh, I almost want that right now. I can't. I dude, that shit was fucking up my stomach so badly. It's not for nothing too. We're we're, we're in Florida, dude. So Florida pizza are ready off the bat. Domino's pizza, shit like that's literally the best you're gonna get. It's yeah. not the same. No, exactly. We got the best pizza in Daytona. Yeah, but that's still not the best. Like the, like the worst pizzeria Look. around here is better than fucking like. We were on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> your your worst local pizzeria Look, in this area is gonna be- beat any fucking <laughs> best pizzeria down in fucking Florida. Is what yeah. we're trying to fucking also, tell the you. Pizza no was- offense, Florida. Sorry, guys. Your pizza's not that great. <laughs> pizza Hut was not that bad. That that was not like the worst part. You're of that young trip. yet, bro. That shit fucks up your stomach after a long time. Yeah, but that was not the worst. That was not the weirdest part of that trip. Let's, let's, let's yeah. we're gonna wait for that. Yeah, no. We're, we're not we're, telling that story today? No, no we're, we're saving that. We need, we need at least like 100,000 subscribers <laughs> before we can tell that story. Actually, if you follow us closely enough and you know who we are and stuff, you can figure out that story because it's been told on another podcast somewhere along the lines in the past. Oh. You just gotta find yep, where. you gotta dig through the archives. Oh, that's interesting. So go Easter through egg. a, it's a treasure hunt, ladies and gentlemen. They're still up. If you figure it out. There's some sleuths out there. If you figure it out, we'll, uh, we'll, fi- we'll, uh, I don't know, come up with something for you. Mm. We'll, we're nego- well, we're you negotiable. I'll, I'll be good by then. I'll buy them a fucking shirt if someone figures First person of comments and f- puts it out there, Maddie, I'll, I'll buy them shirt. Yo, Maddie, uh, they figure it out. What they get free, a free set of merch? 
Uh, yeah, no, no, I'll get a free shirt. YOLO. If, if Dusty just said he'll sponsor it, YOLO. Yeah, yeah. Where? free shirt. Yeah. Why not? Um, <laughs> YOLO. Uh, Yo, hold up, you want to sh- you Never mind, hold on. Well, well no, we'll start that out at the end. But, uh, New Year's, re- any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, actually. What? Um, so I'm actually picking up this book. One, I'm getting a job. My job starts on the uh, 18th of January, which is pretty dope. Hmm. I finally have fucking money! So I can pay for fucking, fucking brag shit. about it, bro. Yo, I'm gotta, sorry, bro. I just Yo, got unemployed. I'm, I just, I'm just coming out of where you're going to, so I understand exactly what you're going through, man. You'll get back. Fucking kick me while I'm down. Oh, I'll shut up. We're both there right now, all right? So yeah. you'll get back there. But um, no, nah, I, I get my job. You're on 18, so that's dope. Uh, but I'm getting this fucking book, and uh, it's like a habit forming book. Mm. And I'm really good at you know keeping like you know like small like little tidbits you know if it takes me two minutes to do I'm fucking I already do it you know pretty much like I'm like okay it's only gonna take me two minutes so just go do it you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so I already got that habit going so I'm gonna use this book to you know help me like achieve like small little goals that are gonna help build towards like bigger shit like for us in production and shit like that mm. so pretty much my New Year's resolution isn't really a New Year's resolution it's just to use that book and use that book to do bigger better shit that's lit yeah man that's lit um, I don't really believe in resolutions. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it depends that's on the year. I'm not my lie. goal. Is I'm bipolar. What that is. I'm bipolar as shit. I'm sometimes like it depends on the year. Depends on how the mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm super emotional. I'm just like, you know what? I'm a resolution. Right now, my resolution is just get a fucking job or get something that pay, pays me. It's pr- pretty basic right now. I just want to start achieving goals, man. Well, yeah, that's my thing. I want to make money well within my the same goal set. Like, I don't want to. Like, I could get a. I could get a, a job in retail. I could get a oh, job. Absolutely. I could get a job doing fast food. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Like, but why bills. settle in life? That's where I'm kind of at. I just I, I have an opportunity where I don't. You're pay still rent. young, man. Yep, exactly. I don't pay rent, also, so I'm very lucky. Where it's like, yo, you know what? Shoot for the stars right now. Yeah. Let me hit the moon. You got nothing to lose right now, man. Where Perhaps. I'm at, I got I got a whole lot to lose. Yeah. You know who's who's got something to lose right now? Joe Budden. Yo. Because he just got, which by the way, can, I'm going to make, again, I'm silly this episode. I'm feeling goofy, so I'll make some jokes. For, so let me just start with love. I'm going to I'm, judge uh, you. To, to speak with, to use the words of Joe Button, let me start with love. Obviously, all jokes aside, congratulations to him and his fiance Sin, on their engagement. They had a kid within the past year. Great to see you. Anyways, what type of love and hip hop bullshit was that engagement? They are literally doing a live podcast, and then all of a sudden, literally in the beginning, Joe Bun's like, "I want to warn everyone: love and hip hop cameras are here." Oh, fucking great! We know it's something, so something's gonna about to happen. As soon as they propose, since like, oh, so this is why you want me to get my nails done? No, the love and hip hop cameras are here. And he asked you to get your nails done for no other... It was the most... It felt so staged. Love. Love. Glad they're getting engaged. <laughs> but God damn it, that was the most staged shit Yo, ever. I fucking hate fake reality TV. Well, no, I do think they're genuinely love. And All reality TV's fake, bro. Yeah, no, that's that was just like... <laughs> that was some obvious love and hip-hop. Like, let's get the moment... Joe hit up Mona Scott was just like yo alright it's time it's, it's gonna happen Mona hit up Sin and it's like hey so he's gonna get probably propose to you so you know get the nails done and all that stuff like again glad they're engaged but that was some wild, that, that was some stage that was one stage ass proposal did ever first see how big the ring was or anything like that See how see how much he balled out since you know he's retired from rap and then uh it definitely looks like Spotify is giving him good, uh, pay, is paying him well. Yeah. Definitely looks like Spotify, his new Spotify deal as well. He even he said on his podcast that it was not the biggest offer. It still looks like they're paying him well. <laughs> Cause he he he's one of the people, which is why I've always been a fan of him. Like he wants to have control of his art, so that's why he went to, with Spotify. He admits like it wasn't the most money, but you know, which you know I would do the same thing. Fuck it. I was gonna say that's like you. Yo, shout out to Spotify. Title anyone who wants to give that type of deal. Holla, Spotify. Apple, Apple, if you're you're about it, you know. 
Although I don't feel like Apple would be about Macintosh. it. Macintosh. <laughs> That'd be some shit. But no, so what you'll th- what you'll think? Joe Bun engagement. Pump it, pump it up. Y'all don't care. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, you don't care about marriage. I mean, you know what? Oh, that one hurts. That's, oh, that, that one hurts. Let's, that let's one not hurts. get into that. That's deep diving. Yeah. That's that's too deep. I don't know. Yeah, th- that's too deep. This is right gotcha. Really. Gotcha. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I got my jokes off. Congratulations to Joe and Sin. Let me just end it there. Anyways, do you? We. I mean, we all saw the the new Hellboy trailer right before yeah, this man. podcast. Oh boy. Kind of late on on the on the hit with that, but. <sighs> I'm honestly, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go first because I'll, I'll say this. I did not, I, was, I never read the comic books, but growing up, I was a huge fan of the Guillermo del Toro movies. So, yes. And I was, yes. A, and so you I were was, following the artists and stuff. Yes. And I'm very disappointed that they did not make a, the third, they finished the they trilogy. They were supposed to. Because so, that's what they set it up for because the chick was pregnant at the end of those. Yep. They, at the end of the Golden Army. You know, with twins. Yep. That was it. That's the end. Yep. <laughs> well, here's my thing. Well, no, let me let, let you guys go first before I get into why I don't like the trailer. Besides the fact that they did my inner fanboy hate of they never finished the third one. Honestly, to me, he kind of just looks like a bitch. Like the other, like, he, like he, he, I don't like how his face looks. Like, I don't like, it just doesn't fit it. Like, he, he just doesn't look like some, like, overly you know, massive beast that fucking Hellboy <laughs> was, you know? Like, he was a, like a, a yeah, I don't like want- a six foot eight, six foot, or seven foot tall fucking dude that has an arm that's bigger than this fucking stool. Yeah, the makeup doesn't look all that right to me, but... Well, you gotta I keep mean, in mind it's exaggerated in the comics and stuff with, you know, but Dark even Horse. But with the Guillermo del Toro movie, I feel like that really mastered it well. I was, maybe I'm just hating on it because I was a huge fan of those two, of those two movies, you know, and that, yeah. how they formed it and everything. I thought it worked really well, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna see it, but I'm, I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. Yeah. <laughs> um... I'll let you go first, Dusty, because I know you probably also read the comics. I've, I've, I'm not gonna say like I read them in depth and stuff like that, but I've definitely done enough to know the comics on a, at least a broad spectrum. Oop. Yep. Um, I was always more fascinated with uh, Abe. Abe Sapien. Yep. Yeah. But um, you know, I love Dark Horse, you know, for what it is. So I'm gonna go see it regardless. And the cast is fucking insane. Like, mm-hmm. you know, that's a knockout cast. But that's the thing. The cast. You looks got wild. Ian McShane. It does you look got, good. Definitely. You got Thomas Hayden. You got fucking <coughs> Daniel Day Kim, who he's hilarious. Uh, Penelope Mitchell, you know, like, and Mila Djokovic, you know, David Harbour. So like, yeah. that's a great cast, bro. I'm gonna go see it. Yeah. My, I'm amped. I'll, I'll see I'm it. it I shot. definitely want to see it, but I'm definitely kind of... I'm just very disappointed about, like I said, how he looks. Look, man, uh, I'm going in. I know exactly what I'm getting. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm paying for. That's my issue, though. From the trailer, I think I know what I'm getting, and I don't think I want it. Mm-hmm. I, I digs it. Because, like, it. it gave me the Suicide Squad type of vibe from the trailer. It's like... We're gonna be dark and edgy, but still be kind of bright and have the the music like the pop music. I'm into that shit. <laughs> um, in- That's why I I love Kick Ass, bro. <laughs> I know I love kick ass but I just don't see Hellboy again that's where maybe my fandom from well that's why I think you know we get, you gotta give it a shot you gotta open come in with an open mind this, this, this is that individual style I'm, I know I'm gonna check it out because I don't I don't I, haven't, I actually don't know who's directing it I haven't looked it up no. um, but I from the cast I am check it I'm gonna check it out so I'm gonna check I'm, it right now man well no I'm, I just wanna preface that so that if the Neil Marshall well, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, know me, I don't mean that in a bad way. So just in case he's what he ends up here in this one day, we're not. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just way. don't know you, fam. Sorry, no offense. Yeah, no. There's no, but uh, no, I'm gonna check it out because of the cast and it's still Hellboy. <sighs> but um, Dusty, you need to take these things away from me. I'll give them over here. Please, give me, give me the brownies. please, yo. There you go. Now you're. I can. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so and the creators are involved. So yeah, so I, I'll, I mean, I'll check it out, but. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm lukewarm. 
I'm not. I'm not impressed. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't tickle my fancy. It doesn't tickle me intrigued. You know, like when you like, you know, you're trying to uh, trying to cook like a hot dog on, on a fire, and you just fucking, you like burn it like really fast on the on the outside. You think it's done. You go to bite it, and it's ice cold on the inside. Oh, that's how I feel. I didn't hear hot dog at the beginning. I mean, you can go fuck yourself I, too, huh? I thought I thought you said dog. They like them apples, eh? I thought you said when you burn a Is dog. Apple pie or apple strudel? <laughs> Not a, I'm, I'm you go fuck yourself, huh? I'm sorry, cast. <laughs> American um, Pie status. You know other movie. You know other movie. I'm not. Uh, you're, the, you're the new pie fucker. I'm a little worried about right now, based off the pictures. Say uh, what? I, I I don't know if they released a new trailer, but uh, the Aladdin pictures came out with the show Genie. Will Smith is Genie. I don't Genie, know how I feel And he's going to be blue. No, is he going to be blue? Yes, he is. Get the fuck yes, out. Yes, he is. He's going to be blue. They're going to CGI him blue. Oh, so those pictures were just strictly behind, yes, 100% behind. Oh, yes, they're okay. going to CGI in blue. How are they going to do that if they didn't put the markers on his face? That's just going to take three times as long to do it. I love it. That's what Will Smith said on a on a thing. I think I sent it to you. I swear to God. You sent me the picture, but I didn't Jesus, think, I swear yeah. to God. I didn't know that they're... Oh, uh, then never mind. My complaint isn't that bad. I, my my mm. literal... My only complaint was the, the genie's got to be blue. Yeah. That's it. That was my only complaint. Like, the genie's got to be blue. I'm like, I'm fine with Will Smith playing him, but the, you gotta make him blue. Ain't you Catholic? <coughs> yeah. You guys, well, you guys better make sure you actually sent that. <laughs> what? I got that on record now. What? I mean, <laughs> he was like, I mean, I'm like, I'm, play it back. I'm not like, you know. <laughs> oh, still president put, put something out. Oh, wait. Just gotta move this. Gotta go rewind that shit and be like, Yo, oh, I really, got motherfucker? For pizza. <laughs> Yo, I got a hankering for chicken nuggets. Anyways. That too. Uh, because we were talking about chicken. Or Anyways, yes, Aladdin. Honestly, I'm kind of, I, I'm pretty amped for it. Amp, I'm amped for it now that you told me he's blue. I yeah, mean, I was gonna be amped for it anyway, but I was, yeah, I'm a he's little... blue. I haven't been entirely thrilled with the live action movies yet. I haven't seen Lion King yet though, so I'm, I'm, I'm holding off before I, I, I come <laughs> in on that one. But so far, I have not been thrilled with the live action Honestly, Disney movies. I, I, I just saw Beauty and the Beast also, and I was like, man, yeah, I tell they you, didn't bring anything. I only saw more innovating. I only saw Cinderella on a date with the girl I came inside that Josh keeps name dropping that I got bleep out. Um, <laughs> but the first time, I, the first time I guess we went on a like a date. It was she hit up like great classification a, a group chat because we were we kind of like a group chat for a project because we met in class and she's like who's available tonight I'm like I am and no one else hit up her back and so we kind of just went out together saw and then we were looking at the movies I'm like up to, and I was just trying to be like I was 18 at the time so I was just trying to like I was trying to get in her pants honestly so I was just like whatever you want to do whatever movie you want to see I'll do it. and she's like uh well I guess Cinderella looks good I'm like. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll watch Cinderella. It was fucking awful. We left... No pipi touch. We left halfway through. <laughs> at, it was like 9.30 at night. No, this is where it gets worse. It was 9.30 at night. It so, gets worse. It gets no worse. kissy kissy either. It gets way worse. So... <laughs> we no hold hand? It gets worse. So, no, no, no. It gets worse. I'm just gonna stop. It, so, oh, we can do better than that. So then she's just like, you know what? How about we leave this movie and we just go to the Taco Bell parking lot for a little bit? Did not know what the fuck that meant. Went to the Taco Bell parking lot at 930. We were there till like 1 a.m. talking until it was finally time. Until we finally like, yeah, maybe I should drive you back to your car and we should, you know, bounce. You're an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. You're such an idiot. You could have smashed right in the fucking car. In the Taco Bell parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it. You know what's the worst part? Long time ago. We went to the city the next day. Long time ago. Mm-hmm. Went to the city the next day. Is this your cherry topper? Is this your slam dunk on how bad <laughs> oh, you fucked up? Yeah. No, no. There's there's more cherry. To- there's way more stories. This. Oh, you're I- gonna go for the alley oop now? Oh no, he uh, he he's got he can go for days with this one. <laughs> oh yeah, I can go for <laughs> days. With, is yeah. that bad? You know, I, I was young, dumb, and full of cum. Can we just start like a uh, fully man, a fully Manny Thompson fuck up fire? Accidentally filter with it. Anyways, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't believe I said that. Um. Oh God! If my family listens to this now, um, oh, yo, what up, Mr. Right. T? And you just remember what what you said, right? Yeah, I just remember. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, 
Anyway, Comment below. No, no. So please. So the next day, Yo, your pretty pop please. Is gonna... <laughs> Very much so. No, the next day I take her to Eager the city. Eager to know what your opinion is. The next day I take like, her to yeah. the city. You know, we scythe with my homie, and the uh, you know, and then on the way back, we play. Uh, she keeps playing love making. She's like, "Can I? How about we listen to music together through the earbuds?" I'm like, "Her, whatever." I'm and my Jesus my Christ. pussy ass. I give her a phone. I'm like, "You can choose whatever song she want. You want." Plays all love making. She literally plays "Fucking You Tonight" by Notorious B.I.G. and R. Kelly, where the the hook is literally R. Kelly saying, "Well, I'm fucking you tonight," and I'm just like, and then Big starts with, "Some say the X makes the X spectacular, lick you from your legs to your back and your shivering tongue delivering." Yo, sign me, bad boy. I'm telling you, I'm ready. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no, I'm also sick, but um, no, I mean like fi- like Physically actually sick, sick. not like Ill. not like Fuck. sick. No, <laughs> they made like every fucking word like a pretty much a pun now. No, so like I didn't get that hint. I probably could fuck her on the train too. Uh, we we're on the train back, rather. Yes, she spent all that on the train back. I could have fucked her on the train, and then that's what made me think, oh, maybe she's into me. On the drive back to her house, I feel like finally when we we're like right at her house, I'm like, I finally ask her if she's like into me. She's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. What you? Mm. I don't know. I don't know where to go. You could have like smashed like Maddie. eight times. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna ask you a real question, kid. Are you gay? No, no. Well, no. I didn't get the hint until she was but literally. Why do you have one? I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't use it, but I didn't get the hint. That's that what she... I'm saying, man. I didn't get. Why the hint... she's gonna become like a preacher or some shit? The time I realized that she really wanted to fuck me, <laughs> it was me, Josh, and Jim in here, in this room. Yes. And she and she was just like, she was. So she was showing me her phone. She's like, oh, you want to see this picture of my dog? Swipe real quick. Oh, I accidentally show you my nude right there. And then within the same conversation, I'm just like, oh, yeah, accidental. I'm like, that's when it finally clicked to me. Oh, she wants to fuck me. And it's literally within the same conversation, like, Jim was like, oh, he jokes around. He's like, oh, Matt, you haven't sent her any dick pics yet? Ha, ha, ha. She's like, never send dick pics unless... Asked for never have, and she's like <laughs> never sent unsolicited dick pics. But this where the this where I knew she's like <laughs> no he's never se- unfortunately he's never sent me any dick pics. And I was like what? She's like hey. She's, that- like, <laughs> she's like what? I just like seeing guys' dicks. I don't care. She like she tried to play. Oh. It. She's like, no, she tried to, <laughs> she tried to play it off like I think she tried to play it off as like she's like she likes seeing dick in general. No, just like smooth. Like it's not like not make it too obvious she wants to fuck me. But then she made it seem like a little worse when she was just like. No, it's no big deal. You know, what's wrong with seeing some dick sometime? And I'm like, yeah, the next week, we, you know. <laughs> she saw some dick. Yeah, t- I thoroughly disappointed her. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, all I got, baby. Get ready. <laughs> I'm all ready for with the, all if three the day inches. that she sees yeah. any of this content. Let's go. Oh, I hope to God someone has showed her this podcast. But that's the thing, like, no one that... Do we have no one that actually talks to her that, like, we know that would watch this? Like no, no one like. Not yet. There's one. No, she, someone's gonna dig in the archives one day. She, I'm telling you, she doesn't watch it just because. Like, why? Because other people are on the cast that like she wouldn't care to see. You, you know. True. We're being super vague. So, like only like three people know what's going on right now. But yeah, uh, no, she'll never. It's and again, I don't not disclose her name for her for like because. I care. She's the one. Literally, the only reason I talked about it was the week after it happened. She came in here, and as usual, I make the tiny dick jokes, whatever, whatever. And she just like, I guess she was just being gangsta, holding him, holding a dude down, and she was just stopping. She's like, "I'm tired. I, I don't get why you do the tiny dick jokes. You're not tiny." And then Jim and Josh again. Jim and Josh just like stop and look at each other. <laughs> she leaves the room to go to the bathroom, and then Josh does the usual Josh thing. He's like, "Yo, we gotta stop." Did she just say you have a big dick, bro? <laughs> like, stop, like, yo, can we st-? I'm like, no, I swear, it's not big. It's not. It's like, doesn't matter. How, what does she know about your dick? Like, all right, so then that's the, like. Proceeded to tell us. That's the only reason, like, I've ever, like, came clean about that story was, like, she literally in this, in this room with. Pretty Again. Much, yeah. It was just like, I've seen your dick and it's big. And it's like, no, it's not. Tiny dick appreciation out there. But no, she held me down in front of the boys. I can't. That is you know one how many people out there with tiny dicks are probably thinking that you're a fraud? I'm not a fraud. I will. I am not a fraud. I have a tiny dick. You got to put, you know, you, you put proof up on the website, Matt. 
<laughs> see, I would, but you wouldn't see it. That's the issue. You know there what you could, could do? You know what you can do is that you, if you ask for a ten dollar donation to have access to a portal to oh your. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not. I'm not becoming. There there's already like. There's actually like a girl in the town. You can be like one of them snapper cam girls. I, there's a girl in our town that does that. There, what? It's seventy five dollars for pics on Snap, one hundred fifty for vids. Oh yeah, I know one. Fucking personally. <laughs> You've actually. You know her too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well. Well, no. This is a different girl. I I met her on Tinder. Okay. Yeah, and then. I guess some people are slut shaming her, which I don't really care. Whatever the fuck you do. Hey, fuck it. it. However you want to make your money from fucking making money. Yeah, but know? she flashed on the story. The next story was her PayPal account, and she's like, y'all laughed at y'all trying to slut shame me, but you, y'all, who's laughing now? And I saw that amount. There were, uh, there were enough zeros there where I was thinking about doing it, where I would consider doing it. I was like, damn. No, the woman I was, I was talking about, she was, uh, she made fucking, for 15 minutes, she made a hundred and fucking fifty dollars or some shit just for wiggling her feet on camera. A Snapchat video is one minute long. At the time, it was only one, it, no, not even, it, yeah, the one time, at the time it was a minute long because they only let you do, the, it only lets you do 10 seconds and at the time it had to get a uh, limit to six a uh, minute long. So I'd only do like a group snap. Like yeah, that. yeah, now you can do the infinite. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, at the time guys were paying for I guess a minute long of her either playing with her titties or playing with her you know pussy or some shit. I'm just like, fuck. Why would you pay? It's, it's Pornhub is free. Some people just got it bad for a certain kind of girl. You know I what get, I'm saying? I, yeah, I guess the thought... I guess like the thought that's the, what the, the allure inter- is. That, you know? That's the interactivity that's the ju- of it. That it's yeah. like, you know, like you're that, that chick's actually responding to things that you're... Uh, that yeah, I guess that's it. They like, it's they the think, intimacy. It's the person. Yes. And I guess that she does this a lot because like I met her on Tinder. So I guess the assumption is that these guys are assuming that they can get with her. Although she's not even really that over, overly flirtatious to like in general. Some just, of them probably do fantasize about her like that, yeah. Some of them probably do believe that they could have a chance with her. She pretty much just is like, hey, here's my number, here's my Snapchat or whatever. And Yo, then, what? And then you get it, and then you're like, oh, I think I'm in. But then pretty much if if she do, if she doesn't think, like, if she doesn't want your dick. She's got burner phones and shit. Yeah, <laughs> and if, she, if she doesn't want your dick right now, she's not going to respond unless you give her money. For videos or photos, from what I'm aware of, I do not know of anything else. If she's into that, that's compl- she had blocked me. <laughs> yeah, what were you what were you asking? No, because she, she also does this thing where she changes her name, and this I probably shouldn't go this deep because then people within our town will know because like she's notorious for changing her name and then like deleting and then like restarting her account again mm. just to like. I don't know, just so she has an alias, or so she doesn't have the, like, I don't... The I, rep following her or some I, shit. Like, she's matched me on Tinder under three different names. Damn. And I've had two different Snapchats. So, it's not, it, like, it wasn't, like, a personal, like, I'm creeping thing. It was just general, like, she's weird. Like, she just... She has, like, burner Snapchat accounts, almost. Burner Tinder accounts. Word? <laughs> Goes through them. Damn. But yeah, no, it's real though, because she uses the same pictures and stuff. Like Sounds that. like a cyber prostitute. I was gonna, you, well, that's is. pretty much what it is. She's running a ring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but she doesn't. But she doesn't even need, need to get pussy out, like physically, just cyber. Yeah, like that's kind of. As long as she's paying her taxes, yolo. That fucking more power <laughs> yeah, to her. Right. I know, but I'm not going to fucking put the New York State Taxation and Federation services on her. You know, I doubt. I doubt you, but you know, maybe she is. IRS. Maybe she's paying her, you know, ten ninety nine. Never know. Whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Claiming that tip money. <laughs> anyway, tip money. <laughs> let's get guys. Let's get political. We're gonna get political. Post get a little. Uh, I found this Post-get-a-l. out. Post get a little. There's a GoFundMe for. So I went on. Uh, I, this GoFundMe had a little under five million dollars at the time. It was just about the wall. It was in the middle of the day. I saw this, and it just it, about the wall. it just came out a couple hours earlier. So it made almost five million in a day. And I was like, "What is this?" I look at it. It's GoFund the wall. Somebody, some dude from Florida, is trying to make a GoFundMe to fund the wall between the United States and Mexico. Mm. I checked a couple hours later. It was a ten million. Right now, as of us recording it, it's a little over seventeen million dollars in this GoFundMe. So this guy has raised seventeen million dollars. He says he's going to use for the wall. 
17 million out of the billion dollars. He wants to raise a billion. Which, by the way, 17 million, holy shit, that's a lot of money to fucking raise. Actually, I don't pull up the numbers, but they are right now. Two, holy shit, if he is not a legit person, which I don't know, I haven't done a background. If this dude isn't a legit person, he just made it. He's gone. Nah, you see, it's the thing that you don't get the money. You don't get the money until you reach the goal. Not with GoFundMe, I thought. I thought GoFundMe was where you just got the money. No, I'm pretty sure you need to reach the goal. No, that's Kickstarter. I think GoFundMe, GoFundMe kind of works like a charity type thing where it's like, like that's why people with... Uh, it's still at 17. For pe- That's why people who with um, who uh, have family emergencies usually use it because they need any amount that, mm. that matters. GoFundMe works like that. So this guy has $17 million. <laughs> He's ghost. Like, he could go... Worst comes to worst... Like I don't think actually they gave him all of it up front, but even if he make he they gave him five million up front because like they got distributed out, they got to take their cut also. What it's GoFundMe, which is not like ten million. I'm not, but you know, there's they're not just giving someone seventeen million right off the bat. They're holding it. They're trying to make sure they are definitely gonna make sure stuff is legit. Cause they did have a situation this past year where people used GoFundMe for a homeless person, and then they end up buying a house instead. Word. So GoFundMe, I'm sure, is lo- is not just distributing all the money out for that reason alone. But even if like he gets some, he can move to like what Italy doesn't extradite, right? What does Italy extradite? I don't if you're a citizen, no, do they extradite to the U.S.? Yeah, I thought yeah. they didn't. I thought Fast and Furious Five said they didn't. <laughs> Fuck, Vin Diesel, you fucking lied to me. God damn it. <laughs> no, if you want people don't extradite to you, you gotta go to Panama. There you go. Fucking move to Panama with five million dollars. Isn't Panama still like a fucking territory or some shit? Yeah, but they don't extradite. It's a. Oh. Get go, the fuck out. I, swear I, mean, God. I could go to South America. I'm not gonna say where, but I could go to. If I ever wanted to, I could just go down to South America if I made that. I'm going to New Zealand. Fuck that. Yeah, but I, I, I'm just. They're saying. all outlaws anyway, bro. <laughs> yeah, facts. Right, people. Plus, you could do the like the Lord. You could do the Lord of the Rings thing. Yo, I want to live in one of those little hobbit houses, man. No, I. There was this um, series by Richard. Too Heath, tall for that. A simple walk into Mordor. Oh, they're dude. They're full size sets. I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> where they walked. It was a web series. They walked from the set of the Hobbit to uh, the Mordor, uh, like mountains where they shot. That's and, dope. Yeah. So I, I kind of want to do that, but like, not as extreme as they did it. They're great for temperature control and shit. Because like, they're building their ground and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. But I'm down. I, I would do I'm that. I'm a minimalist, bro. Plus, you have, like... Dude, you're, you're more than... You're one step away. What you, people said it. What do you look like, crackheads? This is the crackhead cast. <laughs> Yo, this word. Is, this is crack crack, cast. This early. is the crackhead crew. <laughs> if you guys are watching, we the C-Squad. We're, <laughs> we're, like, one step... You and I are one step away from being <laughs> bums. Let's be real. The way we dress. <laughs> I just don't give a fuck, man. Neither like, do I. People get caught up in that stupid bullshit of, like, how I dress, how I look, and shit like that. And I'm just like, yo, I'll wear whatever I want because I'm comfortable. I've, ju- I've coined a term. I don't even know if I really coined the term, but I coined the term in my head because I've never heard anyone use it. I'm ironically fashionable. Because, <laughs> like, I always get complimented on the Mayo jacket. Like, it's the weird things that I have that's ironic that people always are like, oh, yo, that's really cool. Facts. So. Just do you, man, you know? It's always something ironic. Um, fuck else are we gonna talk about? What else happened this week? Oh, like, do uh, oh, we didn't even get get into the wall. Who? What do you guys think about this? Go fund the wall. Yo, honestly, like, put it this way. All I know is if this guy doesn't use, doesn't like donate that seventeen million dollars to the to Trump's fucking wall campaign thing, there's gonna be a lot of angry motherfuckers at this dude, and he might the the. I could totally see, like, there's going to be a lot of eyes on him to make sure that money goes to hit Trump's fucking horrible wall, fortress, Death Star contraption thing he wants to build. You know what? Well, I'm going to let you get fucked I'm about to rant. I'm you ready. Know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, just, I'm, I'm ready to rant. Right. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. This man, Trump. Take it away. Take this, it away. Just take it. This, I'll, I'll jump on. This, this toy is, like, twisted. This, way, this man, Trump, right here, is fucking, he's, he's just... I, I have given up on my on my fight against this motherfucker. But this dude is fucking cunt. We only got two years left of him. So here's my thing about the wall. I don't want I don't want the taxpayers to pay for the wall because I think it's. I don't think it'll do anything. 
You, a could, you could go over it, you could go under it, you could go around it. Word. So I don't want taxpayers paying, putting our money towards this bullshit wall. However, and this is where the silliness and the rent comes in. I, oh my God, I am so happy people are donating so much money to this for one or two reasons. If this guy gets the money and he doesn't build the wall, you know what? Fuck him. Fuck all those people that donated. Y'all donated to some bullshit ass dream and you guys got fucked the same way you guys got fucked for supporting Trump. Like, it is so, like, it is, and the petty of me is like, yo, I really hope this guy runs with the money. Or, let, I, on the flip side, I hope there's enough stupid people out there willing to put up a billion dollars for this wall just so they can see it not work. Facts. One of the guy who 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 started it is like like a Democrat, and he's like just saying like, oh, I'm just gonna like outsmart all these fucking people. Yeah, at this point, like uh, for me, this GoFundMe is like, I, I, there's no there's no negative. Like, yes, if the wall is built, that I mean, people are gonna get around the wall, and then people are gonna be like, damn, we donated a billion dollars of our money for this wall that's not gonna keep us. Do you think it's actually gonna reach a billion? No. Which I is why I th- so, I, which is why I think this guy is gonna end up taking it and end up and then they're gonna be like wow, we just someone stole all of our money, <laughs> and then even then the petty side of me is happy like it, this whole this go for me the petty side of me there's no bad side because if the wall gets built I know it's gonna not work. F- How f- old f- is this dude? I don't fucking know. I, He's a fucking genius, though. No yeah. facts. I almost wish I came up with the idea so I could just take the money and run. <laughs> let's say, let's say, just out of curiosity, this dude's my age, right? I didn't know there's that many stupid people out there wanting to put their so, money up like that. So theoretically, if he wants to, if he gets, you know, all that money that he's at right now, if he gets the 17 mil, he can live off of 340 thousand a year, without any interest, you know, any of that bullshit coming into play, without investing in or anything like that. Just every year he wanted to take out cash. And imagine living in Colombia with that. He could live off of three hundred and forty thousand. New Zealand with Easily that. Easily be. Brazil. Easily. Oh my god. Anywhere. You're talking about penthouses. Fucking South Africa. Fucking penthouses be. Yeah. Like you know, three hundred forty thousand a year. Shout out to everyone who donated. <laughs> I'll take that, that Lambo, wall. bro. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck to your solid investment. That you know that was the thing. <laughs> fucking dumb. That was the thing. I love the the fucking one of the paragraphs I saw. This is a or, or from someone donating. This is a wise investment for the security of our country. I'm like, oh my I'm like, god, man. oh my god! Please tell. The, obviously, this guy's never invested in his life. <laughs> Just like, I'm. I, I was, pray to God we are not the pinnacle of evolution when it comes to intellectual. <laughs> dude, like you know what I'm saying? Because if this is it. I just had to. Oh f- man, we're fucked. It was definitely one of those things where I first saw it. I was. Dis- we are so fucked. It was one of those things where I was disappointed first for where mankind's going, where people are donating this much. But then I had, to, I just had to make light of it. I'm like, you know what? Fuck them. If they're gonna donate their money to this and they're gonna lose all of it, you know what? Screw it. Hey, you know about that wall? Like that was up. Oh, I don't know, about 20 years ago. I think they called it like what? Start with a B. Was it? Was it? The Berlin Wall. Burning Wall. You know what that Burning Wall was about? Oh, yeah. There's, oh, there's a Burning Wall. That, that, that was a bad idea, too, huh? The Berlin Wall. What, what, what happened with that? Oh, that's right. We took it down. Yeah. Well, we didn't take it down, but they took it down. Yeah. Well, even that, just like... Why do... Like, walls are stupid, man. It's, it's, it's... Well, yeah, the whole thing is dumb, but my thing is, if someone else wants to pay for it, fuck them. Let them put them up. If they are really... Cause if they do, fuck it, because it's not going to work. My the walls have uh, like a height you can't make you can only make it so high and there's always rope there's ladders Home Depot is everywhere <laughs> Lowe's is everywhere is there what's the other one fucking there's you could build a ladder <laughs> it's like um, what's his name said Jeff Goldblum life finds a way yeah, exactly. So that's <laughs> that's it. That, that was a terrible impersonation, but you get what I'm saying. That was a horrible impersonation. Oh, well, I don't do Jeff Goldblum, man. Yo, Apparently, I, can we talk about how everyone who thinks they could do a Je- good Jeff Goldblum impression? You can't do a Jeff Goldblum impression. No, I know. You have to be Jeff Goldblum. To it do seems like this room's the only one that, Jeff that gets that. Because I feel like everyone else in the world, they like. Everyone just thinks they could do a good Jeff Goldblum nah, impression. Man. I'm just like Jeff Goldblum is just Jeff Goldblum. That's what everybody loves about him. Yeah, he just is. He's the only good part. Well, no, him and Will Smith are the only good part. And the guy from 
and the fucking president are the only good parts of Independence Day. <laughs> you can't say he's the only good part and then name five other only good parts. <laughs> Two other only good parts. <laughs> All right, no. Here's the only good parts. It's not even the president. It's that president's speech from the trailer. Mm. The, this is Independence yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I'm not going to lie. That is a fire speech. Do you know growing up as a kid, because I was so young when it first came out seeing that, I was like, this is why we have the 4th of July. Yo. <laughs> Fireworks? <laughs> you know what's crazy? I'm, I'm born near July. My brain just completely omitted all the history that we had learned prior to yeah. about, you know, like independence against British and everything, or the, you know, the British and everything like that. I was just like, no, nah, fuck all that shit we just learned Will in Smith. second, third grade, all that. No, nah, fuck all that. Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum, y'all are the reason that we have our Independence Day. Will Smith punched <laughs> an alien in the face and said, welcome to Earth. That's how it happened. Word. Word. But, uh, fucking... Yo, no, what was the fucking, not that movie. There was another movie that had a similar, had a similar movie that was just like, it was just pretty much like, fuck history, this is the, this was reality now for a moment. Mm -hmm. I forget which one, besides Star Wars. Oh, what? Indiana Jones. Holy shit, yo, people are blowing up my phone right now for fucking New Year's Eve. Nope. I I don't. You got friends. Yeah, I don't. (laughs) <laughs> I know, but the, I'm, I'm, in, I'm doing a podcast right now, guys. Very 28 good. messages. Anyways, fucking, that, there's, no, there's nothing really else to talk about. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's, that's all the conversation. We, I mean, we talked about the wall. We talked about the wall. Oh, yeah. We pretty much fucked the wall. I, I mean, I think it's funny that um, since we're on the wall topic, Mad Dog fucking pretty much said, fuck off to Trump. Mm. You know? He put in his uh, letter of resignation, pretty much saying he didn't support what Trump was doing in Syria and shit. And he was like, yo, kick rocks. (laughs) I'm out. (laughs) Yeah, people are backing out from Trump all around. Um, Yeah. Smarter. Which really shows, like, I don't know. It really shows how short-sighted they were. They really wanted that a lot. Because I'm talking about from the politicians end. From the voters end, I get it. Some people don't know. They're just hoping, or they really just hated Hillary that much. Mm-hmm. I've accepted that at this point. But people, like the politicians, like, most of you at first I spoke against him. The first, the day he did the the Mexicans are rapists and criminals, like, everyone should, you all were like, no, this guy's crazy. But once he had the voters, slowly everyone on the Republican Party started turning around. Well, that's due because of Trump. All the clouds of racist fucking, like, are not clouds of racist anymore and rear their ugly head. And, and that's what... That's the beauty of it, though, at the same time because now we know who they are. <laughs> yeah. It's but like, no. I got your number, motherfucker. But the problem with it right <laughs> now also, though, I found is they think they're right. Although that's starting to twist now. That's starting to... Not twist. That's starting to turn back around. But there was a good, like... You just gotta kill them with kindness, bro. During the first... No, not even that. During the... They just realized they were fucking wrong. Really? They Eventually, like... They got enough, like... People on the right side started, like, fighting back. Not right specifically, like, meaning right wing. I mean, like... The right side of history started fighting back. And then they started, like... Either going back in the closet, being their closet races, or, like, switching sides. Which, honestly, in my opinion, I don't think... You can switch your opinion at that point. I think they're just going back in the closet, which worries me a little bit, but... That's okay. They'll but, eventually disappear. But my my thing is, like, the first year of Trump's thing, like, they were always... Just, they were openly racist, and they were just proud of it because they thought they could get away with it. But that's, like, the media and everyone else pushed back, like, no, this is still not okay. Yeah. Racism is still not okay. And... That's uh, the beauty of media, though, and sometimes, like, it sucks it has to happen that way, but media can shame humans into not doing something, you know? Like, media can really f- form what society becomes, so to speak. Which is bad sometimes, but for situations like this... No, but like in situations Trump, like this, that's great. And and that's what's scary, though. The the Trump supporters are using that argument. It's like, oh, the media's just trying to twist it. It's like, no. This is, some, this is serious. <laughs> this is how the people feel. The majority of the people feel that you yeah. should not be able to feel that way. You should not be a bigot. You should not be a racist. We need to come together as a humanity. Like... The fucking end of the world is theoretically. I mean, it's always theoretically. We're always on the brink of death and destruction or some shit. We're but like seven ways from. But in twenty years, theoretically, 20 years the new ago. threat is we're all gonna die and overheat and fry and rot, and that's the end. So, don't you think we should get our shit together at some point Facts. and maybe fix this issue and fix all the other issues that we have, like all the fucking plastic that our animals are eating, which we have to eat because that's our diet, you know? Yeah. Fix the world and other problems that we got going on. Okay. Stop worrying about who the fuck so and 
so-and-so's fucking behind the closet or who so-and-so's fucking born color predisposition is or whatever the fuck you want to call it, you know? Also, Trump is doing... Stupid shit. Trump is... And Trump boundaries is and what? borders are dumb, too. Uh, While we're on it with a fucking wall, fuck your boundaries and borders. And let's... Trump... <laughs> It's the earth, man. I should be able to roam free. Trump was putting to a certain degree. Trump was <laughs> putting kids I in a little security. <laughs> yes. Camps. Yes. This happened this year. The immigrant kids. Yeah, man. Like, the, like we can't forget about. It. Like, yeah. Trump is a difference. Dude. He's a, he is a unicorn, and I don't mean that in a good way. He is the millennial he, Hitler. <laughs> I'm gonna let that slide. Yolo. <laughs> yo, word. I don't. I me personally, I don't know if I would go that far yet. But yo. I'm hey, not, these I'm are, not these are, not, this is how it started. I'm not this isn't not exactly how Hitler exactly started either. And then I love you know, that he, he gets into a pl- I'm pl- not gonna, place of power. Next thing you know, there's like 120 million people massacred. I'm not 100 percent sure if I would go that far, but I'm not going to stop you. I I will say that, and that I won't stop you. I love that he's eating his own words with the Obama shit, saying you know about shutting it down, like we yeah. president, blah 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 blah. If you ever, you know. Oh yeah, no. I uh, know. Yeah, I was calling Kanye the biggest pussy in the industry. No, Trump's the biggest pussy in the industry, which is why they're good together. Fuck Kanye Facts, too, though. Yo, I mean, word. I think I made I think I made my point on Kanye very clear last week. Fuck uh, last, Kanye, last episode. what? Um, the ye fag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's pretty much. Unless you guys want had you anything else you guys had? No, pretty much it. Yeah. I'll take that scratching on uh, Jim Jr. as a no. No. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm actually sick this episode, so this may be a little bit mellow, especially compared to last episode where I was yelling at the top of my fucking lungs. And we down a woman. Or man. Yeah, man or, and or woman. Um, but thank you guys for watching. This is episode 47 of My Crazy Podcast. If you liked this episode, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe down below, and New Year's, e- New Year's Day, later later in the day new year's day i would say go to mycrazymerch.com for a little surprise anyways uh what do you have <laughs> what are, who are you chris cramp is motherfucker dusty b yeah for redundancy sake we'll see you next time